in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 15th of march wednesday of the third week of lent today we have two celebrations one world consumer rights day is celebrated on march 15th annually as a means of raising global awareness about consumer rights and needs world consumer rights day was celebrated for the first time in 1983 second international day to combat islamophobia is an international observance designated by the united nations in 2022 taking place on march 15 every year the purpose of observing this day is to show the true face of islam to those who hate islam let's now have a look at the saint of the day on march 15 we remember saint artemide zatti a salesian religious brother who was canonized in the year 2022 a very recent saint he is a salesian religious brother zatti was born in Boreto, Italy, on October twelfth, eighteen eighty. Forced by poverty, the family emigrated to Argentina in eighteen ninety-seven. The young Zatti began to frequent the parish run by the Salesians. He was twenty years old. when he went to the aspirantante in bernal while caring for a young priest suffering from tuberculosis he contracted the disease he was then referred to the missionary hospital of videma led by father evrasio who invited zatti to pray to mary help of christians to be healed suggesting that he make a promise to dedicate his whole life to the care of the sick he was cured and kept his promise he made his first profession in 1908 in keeping with the promise made to our lady he consecrated himself to the hospital esteemed by all the sick by doctors and nurses in 1950 after falling from a ladder zatti began to show signs of liver cancer he continued to work but on march 15 1951 at the age of 70 he died he was canonized by pope francis on october 9 2022 let's now pay attention to the gospel reading of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 5 verses 17 to 19 at that time jesus said to his disciples do not think that i have come to abolish the law or the prophets i have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them for truly i say to you until heaven and earth pass away 
not an iota not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished therefore whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven but whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ brothers and sisters sometimes we think that jesus came to earth carrying a big eraser and that when he redeemed us he simply wiped out all the regulations of the old testament but just because he accused some of the pharisees of being too legalistic we shouldn't think that his approach to the law of moses was the exact opposite of theirs on the contrary jesus told us that he came to uphold the law and he said that the least transgression against the law makes us least in his kingdom jesus did not say these words to condemn us or discourage us he said them to save us jesus came to bring new life but in order to experience that life we need to follow his commandments like parents who are trying to keep their children out of trouble jesus wants us to be vigilant against sin he knows that giving in to temptation will eventually make us anything but happy how fortunate we are that jesus is with us in our struggles he doesn't just issue warnings from afar he helps us to root out sin wherever it shows up by examining our consciences daily we can ensure that sin doesn't gain a foothold in our hearts as we look back at our day each evening we can ask the holy spirit to show us how we may have strayed from god's truth then bringing our failings into the light of god's love we can experience his mercy and we can get a clearer sense of how we can do better next time it has been said that if we want to move mountains we have to start by carrying away small stones and that's certainly true with sin if we keep fighting the daily battles against little temptations asking for god's help every time we are tested we will soon start to make great progress if we give every area of our lives over to him even those hidden dark corners he will give us all the grace we need to live victoriously even to become greatest in the kingdom of heaven lord jesus thank you for dying on the cross so that i can know real freedom from sin and become the man or woman you have called me to be amen brothers and sisters the psalm speaks to us of the fact that god has not proclaimed the divine message to any other people except the chosen people of god at that time in history let's pray that psalm now your response o jerusalem glorify the lord o jerusalem glorify the lord O Jerusalem glorify the Lord O Zion praise your God 
He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He shows down snow like wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. He reveals his word to Jacob, to Israel his decrees and judgments. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his judgments. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Brother Alfred John Menezes, Salation Brother, Anthony Lewis from Tane, Mumbai, Clara Anand Mudaliar from Mira Road, Mumbai, Sonia D'Souza from Doha, Qatar, Tia D'Souza from Udyawar, presently in Dubai, Thomas Krasta from Koramangala, Bengaluru, Calden Fernandez from Sydney, Matilda Pinto from Vijay, Mangalore, Rachel Pinto from Moodbidri, Rion Brito from Shirwa, Udupi, Violet Arana from Sakinaka, Mumbai. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of Angeline De Souza from Sirsi, John Krasta from Nellikar, Karkala. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.